everyone uh, this is going to be a very quick video uh, in front of you there's uh, my latest uh, button box uh, for FS 2020 basically this is the um, upper head panel of A320 Neo so it's very colorful <laughs> I don't want uh, I don't try to match the uh, real looks uh, there's several reasons one of it is basically uh, i'm using whatever button available on my components stack uh, so this is just the unused switches that i got so everything here is not purchased further so just reuse everything that i left over in my my component bins uh, so yeah it's, it's becoming so colorful so this one is a micro switch and this one is a push button most of it okay except this one is the rotary switch and this one is, is a three position switch of the guitar uh, kind of uh, effects uh, so I bought this four switch at a time just to try to get the three position switch I'm going to use I think and I forgot the OR gate or NOR gate whatever it is uh, logic gate so um, connecting it with with that gate if it's here it's becoming uh, shorted both of them uh, if it's one of them uh, it's on upper and lower position it will be only active only one is shorted to the, the ground or to the center and so yeah i have to create a logic out of this uh, switch uh, to simulate the three position rather than creating a toggle switch which i physically modded that usually unreliable so i'm using electronic to simulate three positions because anyway i just need uh, a logic uh, condition from the switch right so so yeah so it will be uh, another electronic build so uh, the other one is actually uh, why it was looks unfinished. Usually, I kind of like etch these things through my laser uh, engraver or laser cutter machines. Unfortunately, after I cut this one and I try to cut another one uh, for my PC build, um, my upgraded PC uh, or modded PC NCXT uh, Switch eight eight one zero case. And I tried to create a mod, uh, a modding parts out of the laser engraver. It's broke, so the laser has run out, running out of its steam. So I just need to buy another laser tubes to replace it. So it's quite expensive. It's around hundred fifty dollar per tube. So I think it's lasting quite a while. Of course, with a lot of projects, so it's worth it. But yeah, so I just not willing to spend further so yeah at this moment i don't want to uh, purchase the laser tube again so here we are uh, unengraved so it's not engraved with markings and everything unfortunately so i'm not going to do that anyway so yeah this panel is just covering several important switch not everything so if you notice this one is the pump um i'm not sure uh, the FSU IPC or uh, the SDK of the FS2020 allow to to program the fuel pump uh, six of them from for AT uh, A320 Neo. I'm not sure, so we'll see about that. But someday they're going to open up anyway, so I, I'm able to program this later on. Uh, this one is for pack one, uh, pack two, so. So you probably notice not every switch is being simulated because this is just the most frequently used buttons when uh, when you fly A320 Neo. Because if you do with mouse during hectic situations like you want to, except for the battery of course and external power is just there for me. But APU light switch is very frequently used this uh you know uh announcers cabin announcements uh signalings uh buttons uh, that's also frequently used uh, this one sometimes uh, you know uh, seat belt frequently used the rest i think is okay uh those are uh, even pack one pack two right after takeoff you usually uh, or before takeoff you 
make it off for example you turn off the pack and once you take off and then you activate the pack one pack two for example so rather than going there with the mouse uh, take some time and take away your view basically or your awareness during the flight so creating this button is very important for me to to keep me focused on the on the screen on what's going to happen uh, in in the simulation so that's for me it's very important i think beacon also uh, strobe probably is okay strobe and this uh, navigation light is usually on uh, this one uh, this one is strobe beacon and then this one is a uh, wing lights and this one is uh, navigation light this one is taxi turning taxi light so it's uh, left and right uh, taxi light this one is taxi light uh, into auto with no mistaken and take off right <coughs> I forgot. They are taxi light here in the middle and then take off. So this is three positions. Let's see if we can program it or not. If not, then I just use single, you know, taxi light on and off. This one is landing one and landing two. And uh, this also three positions. Uh, uh, this I think arm. Uh, this is retracted. Arms, uh, sorry. Um, yeah, I think it's something that you protrude auto or something. I forgot the name. And then on, right? So... Usually when you land, you try to make it on, for example. Okay, the other one is very, very useful. Is this is supposed to be like programming the APU start and then uh, APU master switch, sorry, and then APU start and then APU bleed here, if we can program it. So this one is technical. Uh, this is all cabin, forward cabin, rear cabin. And this one is seat belt. This one, non-smoking to auto, just to position. I don't want to use the uh, the on sign and this one is emergency exit and this one is the dome light dim and then on uh, bright thing and this one is the wiper only one wiper because anyway it's only pilot positions at this moment that i care about this is anti-ice wing anti-ice engine one engine two anti-ice so yeah sometimes we kind of need to reach this one if there's an ice found or detected and or not detected so we can turn it off so this is toggle so this one is push button most of it this is battery one battery two external power and uh, that's it so that's that's cover most of the commonly used or frequently used buttons and knobs um, in a320 neo for normal flights so if there are emergency things like that of course it's not covered here and anyway I'm not planning soon to create any, any emergency flight anyway. <clears throat> so yeah, this one is uh, going to be the latest addition to the uh, DIY panel for FS2020, especially the A320neo. Uh, from my pedestal, uh, my main panel, uh, I think near the ECAM, the landing gear and uh, um, auto brake buttons and also the FCU, the flight control unit on the autopilot panels, uh, and yeah, the navigations and uh, panel also, but that's not programmable yet at this moment. So, okay, so that is a short video about uh, this uh, latest edition. I haven't really built a circuit in it, it's still empty there, there's a switch all over there. Uh, so, I haven't really, you know. Uh, connect the circuits is very well it's not very good so it's used for uh, with uh, plywood and then cover with some uh, fox leather or fake leather leather so just to make it uh, a bit you know uh, nice um, but it's very you know very <laughs> rough built so I just spend um, few hours to build this uh, not not more okay so that's it so we'll once it is set up and then program and you know ready to be used i'll let you know uh, how it it's working okay see you